Hello and welcome into WBS Schedule Pro where we're going to go over how to create a few different tasks and ultimately we're going to go over how to export your WBS into Microsoft Project and sync the WBS numbers in with Microsoft Project. So first off, I've opened up WBS Schedule Pro and this is my blank screen for a new project. The way that I like to work in WBS Schedule Pro in integrating into Microsoft Project is in the Gantt Chart view. If you come up to Home and then find Gantt Chart, this will bring you to a view that is more similar to the Microsoft Project environment. I'm going to simply create by clicking on Name and call this Task 1. You'll notice when I do that, a few things happen. WBS gives it a numerical value ID of one. It sets the duration to one day and sets the start date and finish date to today. I'm going to add a few more tasks for this demo. Now, you'll notice when I add these tasks, they all set the Gantt chart as linear tasks that are all going to be done on the same day. What we want to do now is set predecessors. So here under predecessor, we will type the numerical ID of the WBS. So since one is the kickoff, it has no predecessor. So two, we would put one since that is the predecessor. You'll notice that the Gantt chart has now changed. We want to do this for the next two tasks. So we will do two and three. Now we have a Gantt chart view that shows these tasks and the relation to one another. Upon creation of your schedule, you will then want to export this into the Microsoft project. To do so, you would go up here into the ribbon, choose Microsoft project, and then go to Microsoft project. I'm going to click go to Microsoft project. It will prompt you to let you know that the schedule is currently self-contained and that transferring it to Microsoft Project involves creating and saving a new project plan or an MPP file. We're gonna go ahead and click OK. You will be prompted to save the project and then likely to name and then go through a few prompts where it asks how you would like your project to be synced and how you would like to open your project within Microsoft Project. But you can see now that I do have the tasks one through four and with the same dates and Gantt chart that I did in WBS. What you'll notice is that I don't have the WBS structure that was built within WBS, but I do have these IDs one through four that do match up. To do this and to add the WBS, we want to click on add new column. We'll click on the arrow and then you can either search for or type in WBS. We'll then find WBS. You can either hit enter or click. Now you'll have your WBS numerical value here within the application. You can simply click. Once you have the four arrows, you can then click and drag to where you would like the WBS to show up on your project. I'm going to simply do a split screen now to show you how these two projects match up. Here on the left side, we have WBS Schedule Pro that has tasks one through four with WBS one through four. Here on the right, we have Microsoft Project showing us the same data. WBS one through four, they are tasks, tasks names one through four, they carry a duration of one day, they have the same start and end dates, and they have the same predecessors. The project in Microsoft Project would now be synced to your WBS project. So again, when exporting, please use the Gantt chart view in WBS Schedule Pro. Use the export to project or go to Microsoft Project. And then once in Microsoft Project, add the WBS field that is already available, which contains the breakdown structure of WBS codes, available in Microsoft Project. 